a laugh on my ass out. Hello, this is Sergeant Rufus Starkey of the 11th Infantry Brigade in Vietnam. And today, I am playing Halo Online, a Russian free-to-play game that was modded for an American audience. And it's a sort of weird setup of how to get the multiplayer going. But once you get it going, it's going. And I'm here to show that off because it's a very popular subject right now. And I'm gonna whore myself out in order to get more views for this channel. It would be good to start off by saying that I suck absolute ass at Halo and oh my god! Why would they spawn me there? I'm all, I've, been, I've been in the game for maybe five seconds and I'm already getting my ass kicked! So yes, this is Halo Online. It's a PC game. It's basically Halo 3 multiplayer with more sprinting. That's really all it is. And a little bit prettier. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so chaotic! Oh my god, my own teammate killed me! Not even Vietnam was that bad, god damn it! It is very pretty though, I must say. For a Russian free-to-play game, it's it's kind of gorgeous. Unless it's not, I don't know. I'm not a PC graphics expert. Uh, speculate. Speculate your own death, you asshole! Oh, god damn it. These motherfuckers are everywhere. Just like the Vietnamese. The Vietnamese, I mean, in Vietnam. And I, oh, oh. I got headshotted, but I also killed a guy, so that's, that's something to point out. You know, Halo and uh, real life combat have almost nothing in common. But I'm gonna talk about my real life combat situations in Vietnam. I already talked to you guys, all two of you that watched my Shovel Knight videos, I already talked to you about the siege of my lie and about my partner, Salmon. And it sounds like you guys want more Salmon stories, which I don't, I don't blame you. Salmon, he was a hell of a guy. So I think I'll start this video off with another story about my dear friend, Salmon. So there we were. Back in Vietnam, Sam and I. Which part of Vietnam? Uh, God, you know, when you're in Vietnam, these stories, they just all, they blend together so you don't really remember exactly where you are in Vietnam. So anyways, Sam and I, we were on the battlefield. It was during uh, one of the generic battles. I honestly can't remember shit about, about all this shit. But we were in battling and then all of a sudden, WHO THE FUCK'S AT THE DOOR?! Oh god damn it, it's one of those goddamn Jehovah's Witnesses! Sorry, excuse me for one second. Uh, give me, give me another second. Shut up! I don't want you here! I don't care about your Vietnamese bullshit! I don't want any Jehovah's Witness Jesus crap! Sorry, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant here before I get back to Salmon. I do enjoy talking to the Jehovah's Witnesses sometimes. Because it gives me not only a new perspective on religion, but a new perspective of a, a new God damn it, words are hard. A new perspective on life. And it's nice to see other points of view in this cruel, twisted world. And they like to point out stuff in the Bible that I don't really know about. So it does make me a more educated and more well-rounded person. With that being said, I could not give any less of a shit about their Jesus crap. I do not care about the Jehovah's Witness religion. I will never be a part of it. I do not want to be a part of it. So anyways, uh, now that we've got that, uh, and, and one more thing, don't get me wrong, I think religion's not terrible. I'm not one of those guys. I don't believe that religion has destroyed our planet and that it has destroyed our society as a whole. But, and another thing before I go back to that, I do think it has done great things for society. I do believe it wouldn't be as successful and as advanced as we are today without religion. However, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a cop, I'm, I'm just some random Vietnamese. God damn it, why do I keep saying Vietnamese all the time? I'm not, fuck, I got killed by, damn it, 
Speculate, suck a dick! Oh, God, Adam, what was Avon trying to say? I, I, I'm just some random Vietnam War veteran trying to get out his PTSD by playing some goddamn Russian Halo game and recording it for like 50 views on YouTube. All right, with fuck! Oh God damn it, we lost during my rant. Oh, son of a fucking bitch! All right, who? Oh, and of course, fucking speculate was the best on the team. That fucking jackass, I'm gonna... God, if he's in the next game, I'm gonna get him one of those swords and just slice his throat open and use his blood as syrup for my pancakes. I'm not bad, you're bad. All right, let's go on to the next man. So, anyway, anyways. So, back to Salmon. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell that story. I was about to tell one story about how we were in a battle, but you guys have already heard a story of when we were in a battle, I think, so I'm gonna tell a story about Sam and I after the war, because that's something you don't really hear about very often, is Vietnam warriors after the war. Get it? Because that's literally the only thing you ever hear about? The Vietnam soldiers? Is them after the war? All right, anyways, so Sam and I, we were, we were roommates for a bit. And so we decided that we needed some companionship, okay? And so we decided, let's get a dog. So we were we were picking out dogs, you know. We were looking through the local newspapers, wondering which dog we should... Ah, oh, shit, I should have should have dodged. Anyway, so we were looking through the local newspapers, and we were like, all right, which, do which dog should we get? And I, I asked Salmon, all right, but which kind of dog would you like? And Salmon says, Rufus, I just... Want a Dalmatian. And you know, I'm not gonna say no to Salmon because, I mean, come on, it's literally Salmon. He's literally the greatest human being of all time. So I said, okay, Salmon, fine. Fine, I will get you a Dalmatian. And I will get it for you because I love you. So, we go to the, I don't know, the local place. And we decide, hey, uh, can we see the Dalmatians you have in the... Pet store owner was like, sure, sure, I'll show you the Dalmatians. And so we're looking through them, and they're, they're a bunch of adorable Dalmatian puppies. And God, what the fuck is that sound? I don't think you guys can hear it, but I'm going to check it out real quick. Actually, no, I'm not. It's gone. So anyway, so we're looking through the Dalmatians, and uh, we just, I don't know, we just weren't, Sam and I, we were not clicking with any of them. They were kind of avoiding us. It might have been because we'd, po we'd smoked a lot of pot before then. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you, audience. God damn it, speculate, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna get you, you fuck! Damn it! Oh, I fucking hate that speculate asshole. Alright, so anyways, back to the story. So, finally, finally, we find this, we find this little, this tiny little Dalmatian puppy in the owner's life. You know, that's the rut of the letter. I'm not sure if you want that one. But then the rut, he started just kissing the living shit out of Salmon, and Salmon was like, I don't care if he's the run of the litter. This little Dalmatian boy is mine. And so, we picked him up, and I, we paid for him, and that was it. We had our new Dalmatian puppy. And he was the cutest little puppy you have ever seen. I'd show pictures, but I very much value my privacy, thank you. So anyway, so we pick him up, and so eventually comes the awkward moment where we're like, okay, God damn it, I almost had that speculate asshole dead. Fuck. So anyways, uh, so we, we finally are like, okay, I sit, okay, okay, this is, okay, here's the story. God, this, why is it so hard to talk? So I sit Salmon down and I say, Salmon, we have to name him. And Salmon, he gives me these, these cute little puppy dog guys and he says, Rufus, can we name him? Star Killer Supreme Vengeance. And I'm like, Salmon, that's not even a name. That's that's a super villain. I mean, I could probably go to the local cinema, find a sci-fi movie, and see that be the villain. And so he says, Rufus, I don't care. Even sci-fi super villains need love. And so that was it. I called him Star Killer for short, which, uh, Became very awkward when that uh, 
forced to unleash Star Wars Game Karen and his name was Star Killer, but yeah. So we had Star Killer the Dalmatian and let me tell you, he was the greatest dog you could ever have. He was nice with kids. You could play with him though and he'd sit in your lap and even though he was a very big dog, even though he was the run of the litter, he grew to be very big. He was oh. But then he died of a tumor or something, I don't remember. But that was when uh, Sam and I, we kind of fell apart after uh, Starkiller died, which was, it was too bad. I, I kind of miss, uh, kind of miss Salmon's company. I haven't talked to him in about two years, Salmon. Maybe I should give him a call soon, I don't know. I don't know, we, we kind of ended on bad terms after Starkiller left, but, you know, that's a story for another day. <laughs> hey, we won, how about that? God, we kicked ass that round. Hey! Hey, that's me! I was third place on my team! How about that? Thanks, Salmon, for giving me the inspiration to get third place on a Russian Halo free-to-play game. <laughs> yeah, he was he was the he was the greatest of guys, but yeah, we had a falling out. But that'll be covered in another video. <laughs> I'm not bitter. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Salmon, what a good guy. Alright, so I'm gonna do this new mode that's, uh, well, it's never really new for Halo, but it's new for the video. It's called Forge, where basically you just, you just fuck around and shoot shit. I'm gonna do that for the last part. Alright, oh, okay, look at that, look at those water graphics. That's good shit. That looks really good. Alright, there's a dude. Do I, do I shoot him? I don't know. I haven't played this mode yet. Oh, well, Jack's kicking the shit out of him. Damn, Jack, you go. Oh, Black Mamba. Uh, I can't wait to kill Black Mamba. Oh, Jack, that is cruel. Look at this Jack, dude. Black Mamba offers Jack a ride. What does Jack do? He fucking kills him. God, I hope he doesn't kill me. I don't think he will, though, since we're on the same team. And in case you can't tell, I'm the one who's driving, so... Uh, I'm not, obviously, I'm not a very good driver, so this is probably going to end very badly for both Jack and I. Ah, uh, kill him! It's the Black Mamba! Black Mamba's revenge. Oh God, oh God, get up! Jesus, take the wheel! Man, wouldn't that be a cool movie? Black Mamba's Revenge. Coming to a theater near you, November 12th. Because that seems more of a November movie. Like one of those uh, new found November blockbusters that they keep doing now because for some strange reason, instead of doing summer blockbusters, they gotta do uh, like fall and winter ones because who, who needs summer break when you can do uh, Thanksgiving break, I guess? But yeah, Black Mamba's Revenge. Coming to a theater on November 12th. Oh, God! Black Mamba's Revenge! Oh, that hurt. But God damn, look at those water physics. Fuck, that looks good. What is that thing? I don't know if we're going to find out. Oh, a gravity hammer. Oh, this ought to be pretty sick. Uh, sorry, I, was, I didn't know if that was the Black Mamba shooting at the sky or something. All right, there he is. Oh, well, that, that did something. All right, Black Mamba, your ass is grass, and I'm the lawnmower. And your grass is too long, so you're gonna need some mowing! Boom! Oh, that was, that was fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie, that was fucking awesome. All right, can I go in this thing? No, it's destroyed. How about this one? That's also destroyed. Set of, ooh, please tell me that. Damn it! All right, let's try the front. Oh, hell yeah, baby! Now we're playing with power! Alright, where's that black mama son of a bitch? I want him dead! Again! God, can I go out here? Is this a thing? No, of course not. That'd be asking too much. Alright, let's go back. Let's find this black mama! He's my son of a bitch! Fucking die! Ah, gotcha! Too easy! Man, this level does look pretty, though. I wonder if it's, uh... Oh, Black Mamba's come to play! Ah, too bad! You ain't got nothing on Sergeant Rufus Star, okay, you son of a bitch! You're not speculate! You're not actually good at this game, are you? Ah, uh, it's like taking... It's like taking candy from a baby! Which I just kind of realized that that's kind of what you want to do, since sugar isn't very good for babies. Alright, let's set this... <laughs> let's set this down gently. No, you know what? Fuck that! Fuck that, I'm gonna take out Black Mamba one more time and then I'm gonna end the video because I don't think there's much else to show. It's Halo Online, it's Halo on PC. I've been playing with a keyboard and mask the whole time. 
You can even plug your controller in and shit. It's a modified version of the game. Uh. Dude, I'm sure you can Google where to find it. I'm not gonna put any links in this description, but anyways, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, or don't. Oh god, he got me! Later!